Hello everyone. We are here to welcome you to this short course on ecology. This course has a very specific view on ecology and evolution. So we would like to introduce you to the ideas of biodiversity from the point of view of ecology and evolution. My name is VV Robin. I'm from Aisar Tirupati and with me is Harisha. And ISAR is a Ministry of Education institution and we have departments in various fields of science. One of them is on biology in which ecology is a field that I specialize in. And I study birds for the last uh, two decades. I've been working on bird song and bird genetics, trying to understand how diversity evolves, how you get different species of birds in especially in the mountains of Western Ghats and uh, Peninsular India. And my colleague here is Harisha. Hi, I'm Harish. Hi, I am Harisha AS. I'm working as a citizen science coordinator at ISAR Tirupati. I'm working as a bridge between the lab research to the field research, where I'm bringing uh, research science to the common people through citizen science activities, like by conducting bird walks, butterfly walks and nature walks and like moth screening with different activities and like through communication in uh, media through social media as well as media like writing popular articles about like science. So I'm very much passionate about the birds, moths and butterflies. I'm trained as an agriculturist. I'm very much passionate about agroecological aspects and like biodiversity in uh, agro ecosystems. So biodiversity is something that everybody's heard of. It's there in the news. It's there in our common lives. Everybody hears about biodiversity and biodiversity conservation. But what we want to do is help you think about biodiversity a little bit more. We want you to also be able to appreciate some of the biodiversity that may be around you. And since this course reaches people all across India, you may see some fascinating organisms through the projects that we have in mind. And really, India has a lot of biodiversity. We have very, very different kinds of landscapes and amazing organisms that have kind of come together. And we would like to understand a little bit more about adaptations, how these organisms have, have these some things that look fairly strange sometimes. How do they have these traits? How do these exciting organisms survive in some of these places? All of it is the key to understanding biodiversity. It's not just the species, but often it is the landscapes. How do all of these organisms come together in some specific landscapes like the tropical forests that everybody has heard of? Our take on biodiversity is only one slice of the diversity of topics in biodiversity itself. And we would like to connect ideas in ecology, in evolution, get you to start thinking a little bit about how these organisms came about in the first place. Why are there so many species in some place and maybe not in some others? So what uh, we would like you to uh, get a little bit more curious and to drive this curiosity we have some small projects in mind for you. That would be the highlight of our course. We would want students, all of you, to do very short projects around you. We would like you to go out and observe nature and we will give you a, a nice framework for you to work within and then to report the diversity that you see around you. So we hope to take you on this journey. And in case you're curious about ISARs, there are a few links here. ISARs are institutions found uh, across India. There are seven ISARs today. And if you're also interested in getting an admission into ISARs, you can look up uh, the link that you see on the screen as well. Thank you.